You're watching My Perfect Doggy. You're home for the best information about every dog breed. The Irish Red and White Setter is a breed of dog that is a member of the Setter family. As with all Setters, the Irish Red and White Setter is classified as a gun dog. Gun dogs, or bird dogs, are types of hunting dogs developed to assist hunters in finding and retrieving game. Usually quail, dove, or duck. The Irish Red and White Setter is virtually identical in temperament to its related breeds the Irish Setter the English Setter and the Gordon Setter. Although it is important to point out that as a working breed the Irish Red and White Setter has a high amount of energy which needs to be expanded. If the Irish Red and White Setter has a buildup of energy it is likely to develop destructive behavior due to boredom. Today my perfect doggy will be counting down the top 10 facts of the Irish Red and White Setter, and we will be answering the most popular question about this dog. So make sure to stick around. Could this be the right dog for you? Before we start my perfect doggy, would like to take a second to express our thanks to all the original Irish Red and White Setter owners. This video would not have been possible without them, so don't forget to check out their Instagram profiles and send some love. All their links are in the description below. Here are the top 10 facts of the Irish Red and White Setter. 1. Their origin. Before the Irish Setter, there was the Irish Red and White Setter. The first written records to refer to a red and white setting dog date to the mid-17th century, but there are paintings from a century before that show similar breeds. The Irish Red and White Setter was the original Irish gun dog, bred by Irish landowners to help out on hunts. For over a hundred years, the breed was the preferred gun dog in Ireland. The Irish Red and White heritage is unknown, but it's likely that he has spaniels in his ancestry. Quick quiz. Did you know, these dogs can jump up to 4 feet 1.2 meters, be 5 feet 1.5 meters, c 6 feet 1.8 meters, or d 7 feet 2.1 meters? Have a guess now. We will give out the correct answer later in the video. 2. Nearly went extinct. During the First World War the number of red and white setters had declined to very low numbers. When dog shows came along, the desire for dogs that were dark solid red nearly led to the disappearance of the red and white dogs. It was the Reverend Noble Huston, of Ballina Hedge, who is credited with saving the line and gradually building up the numbers. With the aid of his cousin, Dr. Elliot, he was able to slowly bring back the breed. While they gradually increased the numbers of the red and white and sent a few of the dogs to other countries, such as Spain, England, and the United States. In later years, Huston and Elliot's work was carried on by Mr. and Mrs. Wilcuddy. Maureen Cuddy greatly researched and recorded the breed's history in the early 20th century. The Cuddies were involved in forming the Irish Red and White Setter Society in Ireland in 1944, and gaining recognition for the breed as separate from the Irish Setter. It was all thanks to Cuddy's diligent record-keeping, and research that in 1974 the Irish Kennel Club finally accepted that the pedigrees of the few remaining Irish red and white setters were indeed accurate. Amazingly, it is likely that the revived generations of the Irish red and white setters owe their thanks to a puppy cuddy nurse to health in 1940. It is still considered a vulnerable breed but has gained recognition from all major kennel clubs. 3. Appearance as the name suggests, the Irish Red and White Setter must have red and white coat. But did you know? It is actually a white dog with red patches. The Irish Red and White Setter coat has a silky texture that sheds dirt easily. The ideal color proportion is 60% white and 40% red. A fully grown male stands between 22 and 26 inches 55 to 66 centimeters tall at the shoulders. Similar in height to a German Shepherd. They are quite tall dogs, and weigh between 50 to 70 pounds. 22.5 to 32 kilograms. It is important to consider that the weight of a healthy Irish Red and White Setter depends on how large the dog is. Taller Irish Red and White Setters should weigh more. The head is broad, eyes dark and oval, and ears dropped. The body is strong and slightly longer than the dog is tall. The tail is moderate length. 
4. Grooming. The Irish red and white setter requires moderate grooming to look its best. You should brush these dogs at least twice a week with a pin brush or a soft bristle brush. You can use a long tooth metal dog comb to help work out any tangles or mats that may be starting to form. Any loose hair on feet should be trimmed away regularly, and unruly hair behind ears should be thinned. You don't need to bathe these dogs regularly as they are easy to keep clean due to their single coat not being too thick. 5. Temperament. The breed displays a kindly, friendly attitude. They can be the most loving and affectionate dog, making them an ideal family dog. Due to their high energy they thrive in families who can provide outlets for their energy. They like kids and can fit well into a family with children. Just be aware they can be quite boisterous especially when they're young so always be watchful if you have toddlers in the house. They tend to be outgoing and friendly with other dogs. Although some caution must be taken when introducing them to other smaller house pets because of their hunter instincts. 6. Training. This dog can be a bit of a challenge to train. You must keep his training session short, positive, and interesting. The breed tends to have a soft temperament, it is sensitive to scolding and harsh treatment. They must be trained using gentle positive reinforcement methods. 7. Function. The Irish Red and White Setter is bred to hunt for game birds. These can be partridge or grouse, pheasant, black game, snipe, woodcock, quail, or duck. These birds try to avoid predators by hiding rather than flying away. Once it finds the birds, it will typically freeze on point showing its handle where the birds are located. One of the reasons for this breed's popularity as a gun dog is it's known to hunt for you, rather than hunting for itself. It will readily gives up the location or its quarry, rather than keeping it for itself. 8. Competition. The Irish Red and White Setter can compete at the Vulnerable British and Irish Breeds Competition. Vulnerable native breeds, are dog breeds of British and Irish origin that are considered to be vulnerable due to their declining registration numbers. Sadly these breeds are at risk of vanishing from our world, simply because people don't know they exist, or because they aren't considered fashionable. To raise awareness of vulnerable British and Irish dog breeds, and to recognize those people who are dedicated to their survival and prosperity, the Kennel Club created the competition in 2015. The competition has proven to be a massive hit. The Vulnerable British and Irish Breeds Competition Final is now a very important event at Crufts. 9. Food and Nutrition Irish Red and White Setters are known for piling on the pounds. Their diet should consist of healthy fats, appropriate proteins, ground bones and vegetables which are jammed full of essential vitamins and minerals for ideal health and performance. Like other hunting dogs, the Irish Red and White Setter needs a lot of meat. The Irish Red and White Setter depends on high-quality animal proteins. Whether you use dry or wet food, meat should always be at the top of the list. Even though meat makes up the bulk of the diet, a lot of grains and other vegetable products will help to give this breed a balanced diet. Back to the quiz if you guessed. C. The red and white Irish setter can jump 6 feet 1.8 meters give yourself a pat on the back. You are correct. 10. Health. Irish red and white setters are generally a healthy breed with an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years. Although their low numbers has put them at a risk for some hereditary diseases. Such as posterior polar cataract, PPC is a hereditary cataract. Although the disease is not painful, cataracts can eventually lead to blindness. PPC have a variable age of onset, but tend to occur in older dogs. Von Willebrand's disease has been reported in the Irish Red and White Setter. VWD is a genetic disease that affects blood clotting. Symptoms include persistent bleeding from wounds, small hemorrhages under the skin or in the gums or unexpected bruising. In extreme cases, Small cuts can be fatal due to blood loss. All UK Kennel Club registered Irish Red and White Setters are required to prove they are not carrying the genetic mutation. The Animal Health Trust offers a DNA test for VWD in the breed. I hope you found our top 10 facts about this Irish dog interesting. Along with our top 10 I will try and answer the most asked about questions for this breed. First being, how rare are Irish Red and White Setters? The Irish Red and White Setter is not as well known as his cousin, the Irish Setter, with only about 500 dogs in North America. 
In the UK only 39 of the puppies were registered by the Kennel Club in 2019. The figure has fallen from the 51 Irish Red and White Setters registered in 2018. How much does an Irish Red and White Setter cost? This question is hard to answer as it can vary, generally. You will have to pay around $1,500 for an Irish Red and White Setter puppy, with prices rising as high as $2,500. Are Irish Red and White Setters good guard dogs? These dogs are very alert so they make a great watchdog. But they don't have the protected nature of a guard dog such as Rottweilers, German Shepherds, or Doberman Pinscher. The difference between a guard dog and a watchdog. A watchdog simply barks and alerts about the danger while a guard dog, besides barking, also attacks the intruder if the dog sees its owner endangered. Who would this dog perfect owner be? If the Irish Red and White Setter could pick his perfect owner, he would say he's looking for someone who loves long walks or hikes at a quick pace. A calm person who is patient with teaching me how to behave. How can I own an Irish Red and White Setter? To start your search for a good breeder, visit the website of the Irish Red and White Setter Association.com. Avoid breeders who offer puppies at one price with papers and at a lower price without papers. Adopting a dog from Irish Red and White Setter Rescue or a shelter could be an option. Sites like PetFinder.com and AdoptAPet.com can have you searching for an Irish Red and White Setter in your area. And don't forget to ask your veterinarian who can often refer you to a reputable breeder. That's it you made it to the end. If you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Our goal is to give our viewers our best information about every dog breed. Ever wonder what's it like to own a certain dog? Subscribe to my perfect doggy and you won't have to wonder.